Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today guys, we have Jessica Jones Season 2 official trailer. I'm excited for this show. I really enjoyed Season 1. What I really liked about Season 1 of Jessica Jones is that after I watched Daredevil Season 1 and then the next show coming out after Daredevil was Jessica Jones, is that Jessica Jones felt like a completely different show to Daredevil because I'm like, I love the way that Daredevil was handled. I love the character. I love the story they were following and then Jessica Jones felt completely different. I loved how Krista Ritter, who plays as Jessica Jones, portrayed uh, that character. I like that she didn't give a shit. She's drunk all the time. She hung out with Luke Cage a bit, kicked ass. It was freaking awesome. And I like the fact that, yes, she has powers, but they really didn't have to use it a lot in the show. And that's based off the story because it's like she mostly used other tactics, not so much her strength and her abilities to get shit done. But when she had to use it, it was awesome. So, anyways, guys, I'm excited to see what's going to happen now with this official trailer for Season 2. I'm excited for Season 2. So, without further ado, let's get into it now. Jessica Jones, Season 2 official trailer. Let's jump into it now, guys. See what they show us. All right, guys? Let's go. Whoa. What the hell was that? Third glass tonight. Put it on my tab. Drinking to remember or forget? Giving a shit won't get you a better tip. Good answer. I was feeling sad. Can't help looking bad. Highway. My whole family was killed in a car accident. Someone did horrific experiments on me. Oh. Now this super vigilante That's shit what that keeps coming at me. Do you want Captain America? No. She I doesn't. Absorb Ellie's investigations. You don't want me. You just want to eliminate the competition. I'll never take no for an answer. How rapey of you. Something happened behind these doors. I have 17 years of questions, and they are deep. Just knowing what was done to you might help you. Mm -hmm. We were made here. Me and something else. The only way to find it is to open the door wider. Interesting, okay. Oh, oh my god. Jessica might not want a sidekick, but she needs one. Woo! Damn. Damn. What if facing it makes me worse? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Depends on if I can get through this night without losing my shit. It takes a monster to stop a monster. Whoa. What did they do to us? Uh huh. Uh huh. And they didn't show him. They didn't show him. March 8th. Awesome. That is cool. Hey. Even though this trailer dropped, you're like, hey, the new trailer. I didn't hear anything about the release date. That was awesome okay because usually when trailers drop for stuff like netflix stuff that i i learn about the date because people talk about the date but that was cool that i, I thought okay maybe they drop a trailer they just didn't give it a release date awesome okay so interesting so what they could have easily done with jessica jones is cover her backstory cover her basically her origin essentially uh within the first season and they're now doing it in season two like, they're going to go in this direction. I'm guessing whatever else that she's talking about was created when she was is killing all these people. And it's that's the villain for season two. And here's the thing. I didn't hear anything about what this season was going to be. I know Kilgrave, a.k.a. Purple Man, he's coming back. We don't know what capacity. Maybe it's a mind thing. Um, but we know that. And, and if you say that, oh, that's a spoiler, that's a spoiler. It's not because they officially announced it through the Marvel's Twitter, and they even posted a picture of Kristen Ritter, and I forget that David Tennant, is that his name? I'm probably butchering that. Uh, but they posted a picture of Jessica Jones and Kilgrave standing together, and it was for season two. So it's not a leak, it's an official announcement. So I guess they couldn't really hide it, um, so they had to just officially announce it. But they didn't show him. But they, they hinted at the purple and then the clapping. We all know who it was. We all know. And uh, we got a little bit of a tease. A little bit of a tease of something. Hold on a second. Let me... I, I'm, I'm blanking on the name. 
So I need to look it up real quick of um, her best friend or her friend. Hellcat. I, I was butchering on her alter ego, Hellcat. Um, because Trish is, uh, looks like she's going to be starting to do some, uh, some fighting. And, uh, people, yeah, people were wondering, because from season one, when she was introduced, people were like, oh, are we going to see Hellcat? And I think the actress said, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Like, she was playing coy, and, um, they now, they're now teasing it more. But the thing is, is that Jessica Jones does not wear an outfit. She does not wear a suit. So, does that mean that Trish is going to be wearing a suit or she's gonna go by the name hellcat really some kind of suit i would think i mean i don't expect jessica jones like this interpretation of her on screen is gonna have a suit a costume to wear when she's going out to fight crime because th this season i don't think it would warrant for her to wear a suit now i could be wrong but the way they're kind of setting this up with the story they're covering it just wouldn't make sense logically at least for me why she would, in the middle of her trying to figure out her origins and also trying to stop this thing that was also created when she was given her powers and shit and giving her abilities to wear a suit, a costume. Like, it just doesn't... Because because Daredevil, he goes out and fights crime, and so he has to wear a suit, so that makes more sense. But for her, she's trying to find out what the hell happened to her when she was when her parents died and everything went to shit for her. She wants to know... She wants answers. So it would make no sense for her to put a suit on, but for Hellcat? Might be a different story. But uh, it, it looks really good. It looks really good. I'm excited. Uh, some people, uh, it was interesting because, see, I really enjoyed Jessica Jones. Some people were mixed on the show. Like, I'm surprised. But, like, I think Daredevil is universally uh, acclaimed. People love that show. And then the rest of the three shows, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, it's either you love it or hate it or kind of in the middle. I really enjoyed Jessica Jones. I thought it was an awesome first season, and I was I, I couldn't wait for a season two. And I like the fact that I didn't hear anything besides Kilgrave coming back for season two. So I'm glad that literally I know what the story is going to be about and it's got me more intrigued because i can't wait to see what they do in this second season so there you have it guys that's my reaction to jessica jones season two official trailer let me know in the comment section below guys what you thought about this official trailer are you hyped for the show are you need to see more are you just are you just going to go in and just watch it and just see how it is whatever thought you have about jessica jones season one or season two the trailer whatever thought you have let me know in the comment section below i'll talk to you guys later peace out